group because I have an interest in that, right? So I can make relationships in that group talking to other moms about, you know, asking a question or sharing different recipes without, you know, without all that food in there and stuff like that. And then what happens is, say I post. So I ask a question, does anyone have a good recipe um, not containing peanut and egg or something? And then somebody posts that. So then we go back and forth. And if we go back and forth a couple times, I'll just, I'll, I'll send her a message and I'll say, I'm gonna send you a friend request if that's okay. And then I just go ahead and I send the friend request. So she, I asked her, I sent it, and then she usually accepts it. And then from there, I don't say anything about the peak. I don't go to her, I don't offer the opportunity, I don't do anything. All I do is I build that relationship with her. And then really what happens is she follows me and she sees what I post, she sees what I do for a living, how it affects others, and then they end up coming to you asking for questions about the opportunity, or they'll say, you know, what's that look like, what's that look like you were talking about, like where do I get that? Um, so I suggest that you find three Facebook groups that interest you. So if you have a dog, say you have a boxer, go search on Facebook, boxer dogs or something. You, if you like cats, go search, I don't know, cats, I mean cats, something. Um, if you like working out, if you like anything, whatever interest, like what really truly interests you, you want to go and you want to join that group. And don't post anything about you need. Don't post about the opportunity because you're just gonna be marked as spam and that's what people are going to think. They're actually gonna think that that's the whole reason why you came in there, right? The end result is you went in there to build relationships, to offer this amazing opportunity to, um, to women, right? That's our job now, is to offer this amazing opportunity to anybody that you speak to, okay? So um, I do that usually like every three months or so, I will go and I will, go, I will find new interests and I'll go into um, find a new group for myself. And then that's how I build my network. <laughs> Social media, so Instagram and Facebook. So when I first started, Instagram was huge for me. I built a fan base of about 17,000 fans. And um, I got probably 80% of, um, of my orders were from Instagram. And um, I had about probably like 25, 30 or so sign up from Instagram. So Instagram's a little bit harder. It's harder to build relationships on Instagram. So Instagram is pretty much, it's just a social media outlet um, where you kind of just post pictures and stuff and, and that's really it. But the pictures that I would post on Instagram because I can't build relationships with others would be selfies. So either selfies of myself or selfies of other Y sisters. Never the graphics. The graphics will kill your business. Nobody wants to see a picture of a graphic um, unless you're a cover girl or maybe lead. Like that, that, that's what they do. We do real pictures, right? Nobody wants to see a graphic. They want to see real pictures. So I would do that. I would also put like a picture of, um, so for the opportunity, it would kind of, I guess, look like a graphic sometimes. You know, if I would um, put, you know, looking for an opportunity to make extra money or something. Or most of the time I would put a picture of myself or a picture of me and my kids, and I would put, I would write underneath, you know, um, I'm a mom to two boys, I'm earning extra money, you know, I'm doing this, if you have any more, if you want any more info, contact me, and people will contact you. Um, Facebook, so, so that was Instagram. Facebook is a little different, so Facebook is two ways. One is on your personal profile, and the other is Facebook business page. So, I use my, I use my Facebook business page now more than I do, do my Instagram. So I suggest you only pick one. Pick one and build that up as far as you can go. And then once you are okay, that you're like, okay, I'm, I'm good, um, this is, you know, it's kind of run itself, then, then you can go ahead and pick another one. So when I started, I did, I opened up a Pinterest, a Facebook a business page, Instagram, Twitter, I don't know, I had like five or six. And I half asked everything. So I, I did put my full effort into one of them because I was running all of these social medias because I thought, well, if I can reach somebody on, on Pinterest and somebody on Facebook and somebody on Instagram, then that 
fact, getting more reach, right? But it's not because I wasn't putting in my full effort and I was So after a while, I was like, okay, I need to stop and I need to rethink this. What, what, what am I gonna do? What am I going to choose? So back then, I, choose, I chose Instagram. And I'm like, I'm gonna focus on Instagram and I'm gonna build that up. So it took me about six to eight months to build up uh, my Instagram account. I worked every single hour on that account and I built it up and built it up. So finally when I got to that place, I was like, okay, this can kind of run on its own. I don't have to be building it up every single hour, doing this, what am I gonna focus on now? So then I started my Facebook um, business page. So my Facebook business page has been up for about a, a year and a half or so and um, I have about 11,000 fans likes on that page, but it took me a year and a half of building that up, of sharing my page, getting my fans to share that page, um, posting content where people would want to share my page, um, so it would go into other people's feeds, they see it, like, um, the, what are they called, um, memes or memes or whatever it's called. Yeah. Yeah, those funny memes or something like that. Anything that is like funny, even if it's not makeup related, they, people go crazy. Like I'll post a meme and I'll have like 45 shares. Um, that's not even that funny. <laughs> but but, but they'll, they'll share it, people will share it and share it and share it. And then they see it and then they're like, oh, I like this, I wonder what else this page is gonna do. And they go ahead and they click that like button to like your page. I'll get a hundred new likes on my page just from sharing a funny meme like that. Um, so on your business page, I can't remember if I, if I put this in the, the next thing or not, but I'll just do it now. So like on your business page, what you want to post on your business page. I post about, I try to post about three times a day, morning, noon, and night, because I have so many fans from different time zones, right? So you want to kind of catch everybody. So. Um, I always try and do selfies. I never post any type of, I try not to post any type of graphic, depending on what the product is. Like skincare is a little bit different unless it's a mask. Um, but all of the other products, you can literally take a selfie and just post it. Sometimes on my business page, most of the time on my business page, I will post my link because that's for business. But on your profile, you should never, ever, ever post your link because people love to buy, but they don't like to be sold to. So somebody could do the same post, right? So I could have this post, Tiff could have this post, we could have the same picture, and I could be over here saying the exact same thing um, and put my website underneath, and Tiff could have the exact same thing um, with a little bit of different wording instead of selling it, just saying, hey, check out my lips, loving this color, or you know, which color should I go for, this one or this one? People will always go for tips because they didn't get sold to, right? But they're, they look at it and they're like, oh, that is a nice color message. Where, where do you get that? What, what color is that, right? So you never want to post your website on your personal profile. However, on your business page, I do all the time. Uh, sometimes I don't. I'll Sometimes I'll just like do the, the, the example that I just did. But most of the time I do because um, I think people know that that's a business page. That's, that's what it's for. Um, on my business page, I will post a funny meme. I'll post funny memes. I'll post inspirational quotes. People love, love, love inspirational quotes. Those quotes get shared and shared and shared, and then people start to like your page. And then I'll post, um, I try and post as many selfies of me as I can. Um, and then I post other, um, other pictures as well. Um, and then anything about the opportunity, I always post about the odd time, I'll throw in a picture of a kit, um, but most of the time, 98% of the time, it's always a picture of me with my kids. So this is the feedback that I get from the people that join me through my business page, is that they said that they joined because they could relate to me. They couldn't relate, you can't relate to a picture of our kit, right? Like of all of our makeup. <coughs> Some people can, in fact, they're a makeup lover and that's all they want, right? But if that's all they want, they may not want to start this as a business, right? They just want the makeup and they want to run, which is okay for some. For Some Some kidnappers actually turn into um, really good presenters. Um, but most of the time, I will just post a picture of myself and my kids, and that's what they say, is I just say, 
you know, I'm a mom of two. I run my own business from, you know, from my living room, playing Star Wars with my with my youngest. Um, you know, if if you're looking to earn extra money, you know, send me a message for more info. They send me a message, and then I send them a third-party tool. So I send them my opportunity video. So if you're on my team, you have access to it through our um, our YouTube training channel. And I've made it generic, letting them know if another presenter sent it to them to make sure that they contact them. It's literally a four minute video of just me, just talking about the opportunity really quick. Because you don't wanna go back, when somebody asks you about the opportunity, you don't wanna go back and like word vomit on them. I used to do that all the time because I was so excited. Like I'm so excited to tell people about this opportunity because it's amazing. So you just wanna tell them, you wanna tell them everything. You wanna tell them how they get paid. You wanna tell them about the comp plan. You wanna tell them about the party rewards. You wanna tell them everything. Um, and then they kind of, they look at everything and they're like, okay, take, take a step back. Like I, I'm a little overwhelmed. And then they just say, okay, I'm gonna read all this later. And then they never come back to read it. So what I do is when somebody says, um, can I get some more info? I message them back and I say, hey, thanks for the email or thanks for the message. If I send you a quick four minute video of me explaining a bit more about the opportunity, would you have time to listen? They come back and they say yes. I say perfect, here's the link. I send them my YouTube link and I say I'll touch base with you uh, when you're finished when you're finished with the video later today. So they say thanks. And then usually within 24 hours, so it could be later on, but within 24 hours, I go back to them and I say, hey, did you have time to watch that video? And they come back and they say, yeah, I did. And I say, great, what did you like about it? And then that's when they come back and they say, well, I like that. Usually they come back and they say, well, I like that you get paid three hours later. And then we just go back and forth, back and forth. So when somebody accepts, if somebody wants more info, say they're on my business page, and I send them the video, I always tell them, I say, I'm just gonna send you a quick friend request. And they say, okay, cool. And then I send them a friend request, so now we're friends. And if they don't ever get back to me about the video, um, they, they start to follow me on Facebook. Then they, they see what I do, right? Um, so that's pretty much how I run my, my Facebook business page. Now on my personal page, I make sure that I post about Unique every single day. So I don't suggest that you post like four to six times or something on your Facebook all about Unique or that you need to post that many times on your Facebook. Um, I know that there's some other leaders that trade that way. Me personally, it doesn't work for me. So I will post anything personal or, you know, whatever I want, whatever I'm feeling in that mood, I'll just go ahead and post. If I post six times a day, well, I'm in a good mood and I'm posting six times a day. Um, but if I'm busy or whatever, not feeling it, then I'll just post what I want. But I usually always post something about unique every day. And that could be, it could be, um, like it's like not related so today if I was gonna post on my uh, on my wall I'm gonna talk about this training I'm gonna say you know I'm so grateful that um, that I was in Calgary today with a bunch of Y sisters you know I'm so grateful for this opportunity whatever that's it I don't, I'm not selling it to anybody I'm not telling them to join my team I'm not putting a link I'm telling them that I'm grateful for this and then they watch that so that to me is a unique post right um, it could be a selfie of me and I'm wearing soulful today. So I could post a, um, I could post a picture and say, I'm wearing the new, our new matte liquid lipstick. What do you think? Yeah, or nay, right? Like on the color, people are going to comment. So that could be, that for me is a unique post. Okay. Um, please don't say join my team because what that does is people get overwhelmed <laughs> Is when you say join my team, they think that they don't have time to join the, like, to join a team, or they think it's like another job, right? Where for us, it's just it's really fun. Like we have a really good time doing this, and they don't understand that until you until you're you're in our sisterhood, and they, they just they don't get it. So when you say join my team, to them it's selling it to them, and you're selling them on like joining my team. Um, you're selling it. You're selling it like a, like a like a business, but like a bad business. Does that make sense? Like, you know, you, you want them to join you to have fun, not to join your team, okay? People you meet outside of the home. Um, so sometimes this is hard for people. 
people encourage me to, um, but I don't want you to go out and talk to people about the unique opportunity. I want you just to make a relationship outside of the home. So if you're at the park with your kids, start talking to the mom, start talking to the dad, the grandma, whoever, that you're there, and just start making that connection. Um, most of the time what works for me is I'm usually always decked out in my Y gear. I have tons of t-shirts, sweatshirts, I have a jacket, I have my diaper bags, or my, um, I have our unique bags, or my diaper bags. So wherever I go, people know that I am with unique. And so most of the time people will ask and say, because they all know the logo, right? And they'll say, are you, like, are you with Unique? And I'll say, yeah, yeah, if I am. And I just kind of leave it at that, and then we go back and forth. Or if you're talking to somebody, if you're making a new relationship, ask lots of questions about them, right? When you ask lots of questions um, about somebody else, they, they feel like you're, you care about them, right? Like you're asking about them. You don't want to just go and talk all about them, right? So when you say, what do you, like, what do you do for a living? <coughs> They'll say, well, I do this, blah, blah, blah. And what's the thing that they're going to ask you back? They're going to ask you the same thing. Well, what do you do? And then that's that's your time to talk about the opportunity. Very short and very sweet. Deborah's going to give you a quick one-liner on how to do that for presentation. We talked about this morning, and it was brilliant. Um, so just meet people outside of the home. And so if you are, if you're talking to some, so say you're at a party or uh, your, your kid's ball game or anything like that, if you have this kind of connection, just say, hey, do you mind if I add you to Facebook? And if they say, yeah, sure, pull out your phone and say, perfect, Where, how do I find you, what's your name? Add them, say, perfect, I just sent you a friend request. Now they're on your Facebook. So for me, that's the whole thing for me and that's what works for me. Is all I wanna do, my goal, is to get everybody to my personal Facebook wall. That's what works for me. Is everybody comes to my personal wall, I can talk to people about the opportunity four or five months out, and they'll say, yeah, 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 I'm interested, I'm interested. Let me think about it, let me think about it. And four or five months later, here they come. They, they, they message me and they're like, okay, I'm ready. I'm ready, I'm ready. Because they watch me and they watch what I post. It's not because I'm a black status presenter. People don't even know what a black status presenter is, right? And I don't go on my wall saying, hi everyone, I'm a black status presenter. They don't know what that is, but they see that I like what I do, I'm having fun, I'm being <coughs> successful, and so that's when they're like, okay, I wanna join. <coughs> so that is my end goal, is being um, on my personal wall. And then friends in common with other friends. <laughs> so this one is a good one. So every so often, usually about once a month, I go through <coughs> the, um, the, uh, usually if I'm on my laptop, they'll have like friends in common, like in that bar right there. And I'll go through and see who I have friends in common with. Or old colleagues, or old people I went to high school with. I have so many people that I thought, oh, who did I go to high school with? And I'll write down their names and I'll go and try to find them on Facebook. And I just send them a request because I already know them. I haven't talked to them forever, but I already know them. They accept me and what do you know? They become presenters and they become um, so that, once a month, I go through that list all the time. Okay. So I think I did, I talked about most of this using Facebook and Instagram. Um, <clears throat> so people join you, not the company. So you want to get personal. So sometimes, I know some people don't like to put their personal stuff out on Facebook, like their pictures of their kids and stuff like that. If you don't like doing that, so one, first off, your personal profile should be public. It should be private, it should be said. If you're running a business and you want to grow it on Facebook, it has to be public. But what you can do is say you you want only you want to post a picture of your kids and you don't want everyone to see it. Just post your picture of your kids to your friends or to your family. Just make a separate list for them and then they go ahead and they see everything. And the other creeps that you don't, they won't, they won't, they won't see anything, okay? So that's how you get over that. People want to join you. They don't want to join Unique. Nobody wants to join Unique. Nobody knows, nobody really knows how awesome Unique is, but they know how awesome you are, okay? The more awesome you are, the more inspiring you are, um, the more confidence that you show that you have, even if you don't, you're gonna fake it until you make it, okay? 
fake it till you make it. You're not going to go on there and say you bought a brand new car from the commission. That's not what I'm saying, but you're going to fake it like until you make it. You're going to show them that you have that you have confidence um, and that um, that you're growing your business. You want to show them that you are plugged into your business every single day. So I'll get people that will order from me or that will sign up with me, and they have friends who are unique presenters, and they come to me and they say, I want to buy whatever. And I'll say, um, sometimes we have like lots of mutual friends who say, well, shouldn't you be buying off whatever? And they'll say, I have no idea if she can sell it anymore. She posts every once in a while. You post all the time. I know you are not going anywhere. So people are afraid that if they buy something off somebody who isn't really running it as a like their small business, that they're going to disappear. And then they're going to be like, now where am I going to get this product? Right? Um, I talked about posting how many posts a day and posting inspirational quotes. Uh, live videos. So I know that most of you hate going on video or even hate live videos. But I am telling you, if you do videos, whether they are pre-recorded or where they were live, your business will explode. Explode. Um, I know some of you do live videos. So Brandy, Brady, Brandy, Brandy, Brady. You do live videos <laughs> all the time. Not all the time, but I'm getting them. All the time. You do them all the time. So tell them you do them too. Other being 
me just being myself on camera. That's all I'm doing. Um, if you have kids, don't worry about your kids in the background. Bring them in. If they're screaming in the background, who cares? <laughs> because what happens is people will relate to you. So people that are, are sitting and they're watching you and they're like, well, I can't really do that because I've got two young kids at home, my husband works all day, how am I supposed to do a video or how am I supposed to work when my kids are running around? Well, include them in the video. There's lots of you guys that I watch and your kids are in the background. Mateo, or my kids are in the background. Um, or I bring my husband in the videos. He hates it. <laughs> <laughs> he's got to do it. That's my business and then he's got to support me and he'll, he'll just be himself and, and people love him. Um, so try and incorporate anything. If you're afraid, bring someone into the video. Get together with another wise sister. I know some of you um, do makeup together, so do it together, okay? Do a live video. Um, Just make a fist. <laughs> product tutorials are good for live. So here's my tip on product tutorials. If you're gonna do a product tutorial, call it for a beginner. So if it is for a beginner, people don't feel so overwhelmed. And people, because most of people really don't know how to, not that they don't know how to apply makeup. They don't think that they know how to apply it professionally. They all think that we're professionals, right? And you know, maybe there's a couple of us in here that are, I'm not. But if there is, then that, that's great, good for you, right? But other people aren't so great at it and they think, well, I, I, I won't be able to do that. So all I do is I'll say, I don't know, how to contour. How to contour for beginners everyone's afraid of contouring. I'm afraid of contouring. I don't know how to contour, so I have a way of contouring for beginners, and that's what I label it, and people go, oh, okay, I'll try that, I'll try that. So any product tutorial, try and just include the word beginner in it, and people will relate to you. Um, and then the, the just remaining consistent on your social media. So if you are on, if you have a Facebook or an Instagram, all you need to do is just remain consistent. Consistency is key. So attraction marketing, I already talked about this. So these are the posts that you just wanna be yourself, right? You're selling to them without selling to them. So lifestyle posts. So a lifestyle post might be you and your kids, or you and your husband, or you shopping or something. So I'm posting a picture of me and the kids at the park or something, or my kids at the park, and I say something like, I'm grateful that I get to spend the afternoon with my kids playing in the park. Um, love my, hashtag love my job or something. Not unique, love my job. So that's, that's something like a, an easy lifestyle post. Well, the more that you post about that kind of stuff, even if, you, if you're not home 